Rolling. The village of Dragon's Hollow has been under attack for almost a year now. Every week, the evil dragon Zakuma would raid the village and steal its food, taking everything he could carry. He wanted to scare all the dragons away so he could take the village for himself. All the dragons in the village were too frightened to face big, scary Zakuma. With his expert flying skills, no one in the village was a match for him, and everyone was too scared to try. Everyone, except for one little dragon named Atishi. The forest. The village was usually a peaceful place where Atishi and his family lived their lives. It had a thick forest filled with many different types of trees and plants. Every month, the villagers would go into the forest and collect food for the next month. Most of the time, they ate fruits and nuts, which they could easily pick from the trees and plants in the forest. Atishi decided that until Zakuma left the villagers alone, he would go and collect food for them every day so they would not go hungry. The next afternoon, Atishi snuck out from his little house and quietly made his way to the forest. He knew his way around the village, but it took him a long time since he kept stopping to do things. Finally, he got to the forest and made his way to the fruit orchard in the middle. Yay! You're doing great! That's it! Keep it up! Good job! You could do it! No one could have done it better. The water tower. After Atishi was sure he had enough fruits to feed the village, he quickly began walking back to his home. Over the next few hours, Atishi divided the fruits between all the villagers so that no one would be hungry. They all thanked Atishi for his kindness and bravery, which made Atishi very happy. As Atishi was walking out of the last house in the village, he heard a loud roar. He looked towards where the sound was coming from and saw that the evil dragon Zakuma had attacked the village's water tower. He had made large cracks appear on the outside of it, and Atishi knew that if he didn't rush to stop the water tower from cracking, the whole town would be flooded. tower was saved. As Atishi climbed down, he noticed that Zakuma was hovering over the top of the great cave, trying to find a way in. Atishi knew that cave, as he had been sneaking off to play there since he could walk. It was huge on the inside, and the dragons that lived on the island many thousands of years ago had used it to store their treasures. As soon as Zakuma had his back turned, Atishi made his way to the cave's entrance. He snuck into the cave and started looking around. Finally, he went up to the cave's back wall and scratched at the rock to see if he could find something. To his surprise, he noticed a glow coming from within the rock. Whatever it was, Atishi knew he had to get it out slowly and carefully. 